Hello everyone, how are you today? Welcome to the channel. My name is Donna and this is Irish Donna Tarot. We are here to do an Aquarius love reading, new love coming in or a rekindled return. We see time to go, time to take action. Aquarius, get out there, have some fun. You know what you're doing. You're ready to take that leap off of the dock into the water. Okay, serendipity, you're going to have some gratuitous good luck. That four-leaf clover, don't we love it? So, great energy. I am broadcasting from Chicago, and I would love it if you'd leave in the comments below where you're watching the video from. Okay, Aquarius to the sea. The energy of doing some interest, you know, really thinking a lot, introspecting, meditating on what it is that you need to be happy and love. So let's see what we have in terms of your actual incoming energy for new love. You're ready. You are revved up. You are ready to go. And you're going to have some good luck here. You're going to get lucky, Aquarius. <laughs> so let's see here. What have we got? Well, that just came flying out. So I'm going to put that as the overall energy. Now, I like, there are many times that I really like the um the tower card this one especially it's actually quite beautiful you know it's like a natural storm it clears the air so for some of you the overall energy uh one aspect of it is clearing the air with somebody really um taking time to clear up any misunderstandings or arguments uh, or a situation in which you felt left in the cold Okay, so what else do we have for overall energy? Oh, there you are. Single, ready to mingle, looking good, pre-empress energy. Empresses are typically married, so that is the appropriate energy. You are highly desirable. You look good, you smell good, you know, you have a nice home, you have a nice car. You're just presenting as being very successful in life right now. The tower card, as I was saying before, can be an epiphany. It can be a revelation that comes in a very sort of abrupt manner, that flash of intuition. Um, oftentimes in couples readings we have it's an argument where you felt left in the cold so it is something that you're processing emotionally at this time okay so we oh look at that oh Gemini energy Ooh, that's a card of soulmate that is a card of just passion and really loving somebody look at that you have a king of wands here king of wands is an energy it is leo energy it's somebody who's feisty and fiery and sexy and uh certainly somebody who's also things like a firefighter somebody who rushes in you know and takes control and makes everything right this person has a lot of pride yeah they have a lot of ego but they're also sexy fun exciting funny adventurous they're everything that the fifth house is on the astrology wheel they're very creative they're entertaining they're probably very they like to participate in sports or they like to watch sports very interesting energy kind of exciting and look at the you have leo energy again this person has fire in their belly for you they want to go the distance with you they have a lot to say to you also that just came popping out and so did this one. We have the Three of Wands. This is a person who would say, oh, let's go to Hawaii. It'd be so much fun. We can go surfing. You know, we can, or, you know, any sort of faraway destination. Bora Bora, Tahiti. But this person likes excitement. And they want to tell you something. They want to rush in and tell you something. They have a lot to say about what they want in life, what their goals are. You know, again, look at this. Ready to take off, right? Ready to take that leap. Running off this looks like when you're a kid and you visit somebody or your parents have a lake house and you run off the dock as fast as you can and leap into the water so you know it looks like you again you do have good fortune here okay so see let's see what else we have for your love life coming in aquarius Oh, Hierophant energy. Very, somebody with very traditional beliefs. Somebody who believes in home and family and marriage and, you know, you and may, me, may, baby make three. <laughs> I botched that pretty badly, but you know what I mean. It's having similar belief systems and a very traditional value system. 
the Five of Cups. You feel really sad right now. You feel as though somebody owes you an apology. It looks like you're still having some lingering emotions over something that it's like having the rug pulled out from underneath you unexpectedly with some news that you've received. But here we go. Leo energy again. Ooh, the force. <laughs> I think of Yoda. You know, may the force be with you. That sort of energy is you want you're going to have a victory in love. You have somebody coming in who's absolutely going to fall in love with you. Ace of Cups, new love coming in. These cards fell right off in my lap. We have the Ten of Coins energy, Virgo energy. Somebody who wants a very traditional life. Somebody who wants marriage. Somebody who's been through the mill. They've been to hell and back. It's Scorpio energy. Uh, this person does present as someone who likes to be in charge there's you know we have capricorn energy and we also have somebody who's given up the burdens and and let them go but what i see is somebody who and scorpio energy is fixed energy um the devil card is capricorn your person may have just moved for a job also it looks as though they may have had some sort of loss. It looks like they may have gone through a similar experience with you as you. But this person does like to be in control. So you're going to want to watch that energy. You know, it, it looks like they're working on it. It looks like they're really not too outwardly controlling. But this person likes to be captain of the ship, so to speak. So let's see what we have here for the energy of clarifying. The Lover's Card, Capricorn Energy. Now you have Leo and Capricorn vying for your attention. Somebody who's very nurturing, though. Somebody who's sweet, kind, very serious about their goals. Somebody who has a lot of intuition, Cancerian Energy. Again, somebody who is outwardly very stable, very practical. And they, too, have had to move away from a situation which they needed to heal. So what we see is a, a tremendously mature person here. Eight of Wands. They want to make love all night long. Aquarius. It's a good match for you. Sagittarius Energy. Somebody who's very adventurous, fun-loving, communicative. Oh, and here we have this King of Wands wants to share their wand with you. <laughs> so they have a very passionate nature. They're very enthusiastic. They're very gung-ho in this relationship in pursuing you. They have gone through a bad period of time. You know, we see this, especially this Leo energy over here. They are not in their heads anymore. I like it. Gemini energy of being in your head and losing sleep is gone. So you have that new energy, this burst of new energy. And we see this person making, hey, let's go out on a date. Let's go do something. Let's, you know, let's spend some time together. Let's get to know each other. Ooh. Okay. So they're playing it cool, right? They're playing it very cool. Like, I'm just going to hang out. How about if we just hang out on Saturday night? But look at this. They are working hard to manifest your Gemini energy and Pisces energy. Your person is fairly intuitive, interestingly enough. You know, you don't always think of fire signs uh, or earth signs being intuitive, but oftentimes if they have a Pisces moon, that's what I see. You, both of you are keeping your options open, but both of you fall in love pretty rapidly. I'm getting just a really generous uh, feeling of emotion. So a lot of Leo sun signs will almost always have some sort of Cancerian placement, Venus or Mercury, because it doesn't travel that far away from the sun. So it does show that this person might be very open with their emotions, very emotionally available to you, Aquarius. Very. In fact, they may be more emotionally available to you than you are them. You might be like, well, let's take it a day at a time. Also, Leo is in your seventh house of marriage in terms of your solar chart. Your Leo, uh, you have Aquarius on the first house, Leo's on your seventh house, so it's a natural fit. You're enough, you're different enough to be really interesting, but very solid together. Oh, look at this! We have Virgo energy getting to know you, getting to know all about you with the goal of getting married. Like it, okay? Why is the Five of Cups here? You have released sadness from the past, Scorpio energy. You're just not going to let anything or anybody Scorpio energy again, somebody from the past. Tell us more about this. You're healing from that person. I feel as though 
they you received sudden news that you were no longer in their orbit of romantic options we get that this person may have gone off and gotten married okay so you are healing that makes sense you know when we go go to the sea doing soul searching you know you're on a journey of your own it looks like this person does still watch you on the internet and i do think that that's who the devil is i actually see is that person the devil yep that's the person you need you feel as though you need to defend yourself from that person whoever it is that hurt you and you know i would say you probably do so let's look six of wands here winner winner chicken dinner a winner in love new love coming in stability great energy the two of swords it's really interesting you don't seem to want to be involved with somebody who's too much of a showboat it's almost like you don't want somebody who's too ego driven you want somebody who's more grounded you do like that this person's very successful they seem to have a high profile in the world at large around you in your community you feel as though it's possible to work things out with them sagittarius energy why do we have this energy of the ace of cups here we all oh, look at that empress energy this energy is very strong you are going to manifest love and look at what was turned over in the deck when you find balance you you manifest love when you're able to be very peaceful very much in a serene energy this is when your love comes in a queen of cords and a queen of swords energy is libra energy you know the truth the whole truth and nothing but the truth but wow is this gorgeous i mean i can't even think of anything nicer than that new love with the empress which embodies love being very balanced being very focused on long-term commitment virgo is coming in oh look at oh my gosh so we have somebody who does not play mind games which has been a problem in the past somebody who played mind games with you you're not having it star card hopes and dreams for love come true it looks as though you're soon to meet someone with whom you are likely to marry what is the devil card doing here for our aquarius friends okay wheel of fortune swept this person out of your life they packed it up they left you behind but that is a good thing there's your serendipity you know look at there we go we have pisces energy coming in somebody's coming in they're very romantic they have a proper bouquet of red roses from the florist we have a sealed note here with wax a beautiful picnic this is a nurturing person very nurturing person somebody who's very soft very gentle but also emotionally very intelligent we see the two of you doing beautifully together look at that you both embody love you both embody a lot of logic a lot of ability uh, a lot of stability the ability to be stable and it looks like whoever left you out in the cold you know you're at peace with it you're ready to take that new leap of faith into your future Tiki torches, starry night, somebody who's hot, 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 somebody with whom you'll have fun, and a long-term commitment is on the horizon for you. Aquarius, send me a love, send some back, and I hope to see you again in another video soon. Thank you. Bye-bye.